What's up guys, this is your boy, the average kid monkey of here, back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile and uh, this is gonna be an interesting video because in this video we are gonna cover multiple aspects of free solo raid artifacts. So before we begin this video, let's you know keep a few things constant about this video and that is what we are gonna cover for every artifact. So the first one is we are going to cover the solo raid effectiveness. The second one is we are going to cover league raid effectiveness. And the last one is going to be best characters for using the specific artifact. So let's get the party started like I always say. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button maybe. That helps me out definitely. Hit the like button too. That helps out again. So like I said, let's get the party started. So first we are going to begin with the first solo raid that was in the picture that came into the picture for Injustice 2 Mobile and that is the Town of Apocalypse Dark Side Solo Raid where the free artifact was the Father Box. So I think I have the Father Box at level seven, uh, level 9 I believe. So let's look at the Father Box artifact. So here is the Father Box artifact. So basically what it does is it increases the damage for the rush attacks and also it heals back when you are below a certain amount of health. and this artifact is a pretty good artifact when it came into the picture and an additional bonus for this artifact it is kind of helps in doing infinite combos so if you guys haven't checked that out I do have a separate video I'll leave a link in the description where you have the details for how to do an infinite combo with the father box and there are multiple characters which will help you to do you know infinite combo so let's you know break it down this artifact with three things the first like i mentioned is going to be the solo raid effectiveness so this is the best artifact for the specific solo raid that is the dawn of apocalypse solo raid and uh, this is the only solo raid where the artifact bonus doesn't share across the board so you don't get any team bonus so that again kind of helps only this artifact so because this artifact is the strongest artifact in that particular solo raid and this is free so it's the best that you're getting and apart from solo raids let's jump into the point number two which is the lead raid effectiveness and for lead raid this can only be used as a combo builder you can use classic superman if you want you can use you know uh, like Batman Ninja Curl of Rod as well if you want if you don't have the Peter Club and you have a combo builder you need a combo builder then you can use the father box to build combos because it can give you the additional bonus effect of doing an infinite combo so now one of the best characters for using the third point that is the best characters for using this artifact whether it be solo raid or whether it be in you know like league raid so for, for solo raids you know like whatever is your damage dealer it's gonna benefit because Dawn of Apocalypse doesn't benefit like I mentioned for team attack so whatever is your damage dealer be it King of Atlantis Aquaman be it Raven be it uh, Last Love the Joker so any character that you're gonna use is gonna benefit from the father box for the grades you know you can just use it only on the combo builder and nothing else so that's with regards to this we have the father box so let's move on to the next solo raid and that is the rise of krypton solo raid where the artifact is called kryptonite spear and uh, let me jump back to the artifact that we are gonna see and that is the kryptonite spear which is the free artifact so let's sort here and uh, this is arguably one of the worst artifacts free artifacts to get so i have it at a very low level i think i have it at only level two so let's see what this does it does is all special with combos above 38 are unblockable and bypass special abilities and shield that block it so you can upgrade it and the number of combo meters that you require to you know bypass the shield is going to decrease which is a good thing and also the maximum number of combo meter hits you know it kind of increases the bonus damage so like for example is increased to 54 hits its default is 40 hits so you are going to deal you know 5% per extra hit that is accounting to you know 14 into 5 basically so 70% extra damage but you know you can also heal as well you can completely heal your character heal for 0.45% of every combo meter hit so if you are doing some say 100 you know combo 100 then you're gonna heal back quite a lot of health so one thing to keep in mind here is this artifact is only useful useful I would say for breaking the shield so let's go into 
the solar rate effectiveness part here so in solar rate uh, like again it is gonna give you the highest attack and it has shared attack stat as well it's gonna you know it's gonna benefit the team but uh, yeah this artifact if you don't have you know the war suit which is the better artifact out of the you know the highest attack giving artifacts then you can upgrade this artifact but if you have the war suit then definitely there is no need for you know upgrading this artifact you can keep this artifact just in case because there are few bosses which have shield like for example i do remember i think mythic wonder woman has shield in dawn of apocalypse which is a different ball game it's a different solo rate but still the shield is there so you can keep this artifact just even at level one you don't need to upgrade it for using in the solo rates now coming to lead rate effectiveness this is literally useless in lead lead grades you're not going to use it at all like i have not seen anyone using it at all as well so definitely not worth it now best character for using this is gonna be there on the support character even if you have you know uh, like this as the highest you know like leveled up artifact for the rise of krypton solo raid still you shouldn't be using it on the damage dealer the damage dealer should have other artifacts which do better amount of damage because this is just not going to yield any damage at all so the rating for this particular artifact after you know the solo rate effectiveness league rate effectiveness and best characters for using is literally very low so i would literally rate it like one out of five is what i would say let's move on to the next one and that is gonna be the advent of chaos where it's called chakra that's the artifact it's called chakra and again this is again a very terrible artifact so let's look at the chakra artifact as well let me see where that is so this is the free artifact that you get from Advent of Chaos Solo Raid, which is the Raven Solo Raid. And what you have over here is when health drops below a certain percentage, you gain some percentage attack, which is again going to be of the base attack. So it's not going to help a lot at all. And, you know, you heal as well. So in a way, it works similar to how the Kryptonite Spear works, except for the fact that you don't bypass shields and you know again in comparison this is a very very terrible artifact so if you have the trigon power stuff which is the alternate artifact which is going to give you the highest amount of attack that's definitely better but this artifact is literally of no use so again coming to solar rate effectiveness it's going to be useful on you know your support characters to just to give a higher amount of attack for the team but overall it's not going to be effective at all coming to lead rate effectiveness again you won't be able to use in league rates again this is very very similar to the kryptonite sphere that you have and best characters for using i don't think anyone is literally gonna use this again it's it's good on support characters definitely not on the damage dealer so we're not gonna waste time on the chaos artifact chakra because it's literally of no use let's move on to the next one and that is gonna be the dark knights artifact and that is called the dark middle card so this is definitely one of the best artifacts uh so let's jump here let's go to the artifacts again and uh, you know let's sort it and the dark middle cards artifact is definitely one of the best artifacts in the game the free artifacts i would say not only the free artifacts it's also definitely one of the best artifacts so let's look at the dark middle cards artifact here it spawns an area where your team automatically crits with 90% chance to ignore critical immunity and at level 10 it's 100% chance so you just bypass it and also you additionally get you know 200% critical attack damage at level 10 which is gonna be just awesome it's it's just too awesome and it just helps a lot so coming to solo raid effectiveness if you don't have the beta club if you don't have other stronger artifacts definitely this is the artifact that you're gonna equip on your damage dealer so definitely it is very effective in solo raid it gives the highest amount of attack as well and uh, for league rates let's jump into league rates as well for league rates effectiveness it's definitely useful in league rates as well you can definitely ignore the critical attack resistance that's there for captain cold if you have it on the support character you're gonna get a benefit as well because you will be able to do constant critical attacks now best characters for using all the damage dealers i would say definitely you can use on king of Atlantis aquaman you can use on heartbreaker harley queen definitely uh, it's like a must use on heartbreaker harley queen if you don't have a crown of can that artifact and uh, definitely dark middle cards is a worthwhile artifact use it can be used on the support character it can be used on your damage dealer as well so let's move on to the next one and the next one is gonna be 
the last contract soul raid which is having the artifact called the god killer so let's look at the god killer artifact over here so this is the god killer artifact over here what does it do it has a chance to steal attack from the opponent and also it you know applies a debuff which uses which kind of prevents the opponent from using a block so this is a pretty good artifact as well because it can again help you to do an infinite combo it's pretty good on a combo builder so let's jump into the solo raid effectiveness directly and for solo raid effectiveness it's definitely useful it, it gives the max amount of attack as well and also it can be used on the damage dealer to do a constant amount of infinite combo i personally prefer to use it on back home in the drown to do infinite combo although that is not going to give you the maximum amount of dot damage that you're going to inflict from back home in the drown but uh, yeah god killer artifact is definitely a great artifact as well which you're getting for free so you can upgrade this it's going to benefit you as well for lead rate effectiveness again you can use it on the combo builder and the damage dealer as well but uh, less i would say compared to the dark middle cards artifact because uh, the dark middle card artifact is going to boost you up way more or the damage perspective from the damage perspective is what i would say so you can you can test this out the easy way to test this out is you know to have the god killer artifact on your damage dealer and then you can use the dark moon cards artifact on your damage dealer at the same level and you will see the you know the damage that you're getting from the artifact when whenever you have the artifact of dark moon cards equipped as a more amount of damage so coming to the solar rate effectiveness it's effective Day grades also it's effective best character for using any combo builder is kind of preferable you can also use it on the damage dealer like for example you know like uh, like i mentioned bad form on the ground but uh, if you're using it on king of atlantis aquaman i wouldn't recommend using it on king of atlantis aquaman it's better to use on the support character and you use dark metal cards artifact or other artifacts which is stronger on king of atlantis aquaman so let's move on to the next one and this one is the all ice solo raid where you have the norris snow globe so let's look at that one you have the norris snow globe from the on ice solo raid the mr free solo raid and you know what this does is pretty good i would say 70 percent max health is achieved after performing any special so you get defensive measures then also you gain attack for four times that is also pretty good upon defeat it gets knocked out and then respawns so it has both mixture of defense as well as defense which makes this particular artifact a pretty good artifact to have in the first place and uh, so let's come into the solo raid effectiveness definitely a uh, you know must hype up you know must upgrade it i would say you must definitely upgrade this uh, artifact for good amount of advantages lead raids it's rarely used you can use it on you know batman who laughs just to face horrific scarecrow you know two people in your team can face horrific scarecrow with batman who laughs and easily defeat the boss because there is a double counting of damage with that uh, you know batman who laughs so it's gonna be pretty easy and uh, this is like i mentioned it's a defensive as well as an offensive one you can also have in in league raids you can have with you know last of the choker so let's look at the league rate effectiveness for the league rate effectiveness you can have you know uh, last of the joker teammates like for example you can have it on just the secret flash as well as entangling poison iv and uh, you can lose them out you can get the clones defeated and as a result you would gain some damage boost on last of the joker and you would be easily able to one shot you know captain cold in you know raid 8 and also go do some you know good amount of damage in other levels of solo raids as well so let's look at the best characters for using this ideally i would say is gonna go into the support characters the combo builder or you know just the support characters because it's mostly defensive although it does have some offense abilities i would say it can be used just to raise the attack of the teammates so let's jump into the next one and this is gonna be the this is magic satana's puppet so let's look at satana's puppet this is definitely one of the most useful artifacts let's look at satana's puppet here i have one at level six i believe so let me I, okay i'm going back <laughs> so let me just go into the level six one here i think i have one at level six level six level six too many artifacts here need to destroy them so here is satana's puppet here it gives you 63 percent attack for each active negative effect on an active opponent stacks up to 500 percent you won't be able to hit the 500 percent because 
it, it requires you know 10 10 9 ish odd you know number of stacks but you can definitely upgrade this and once it's upgraded to level 10 i think you will be easily able to do with the number of negative effects then but the major effect that you have an advantage that you have is the wearer becomes unblockable and has infinite power if the opponent has more than four negative effects and this is going to be extremely useful so you know, coming to solo raid effectiveness first definitely it's worthy to use this for the damage dealer as well and also it helps in getting the maximum amount of attack coming to lead raid effectiveness you can use for lead raids too depending on the character so which i'm going to describe as well so but the best characters for using this is definitely the arcane characters which kind of benefit in a way as well so the one is or the first one is i would say silver banshee the next one is going to be black adam so black adam if you haven't you know checked that video out guys black adam you know just spams spams and does a ton of damage there as well so you can definitely check that out so let's move on to the next one and that is the crown of kandak soul raid artifact that is ruler of kandak ruler of Ka -ka -ka. Uh, i struggle always anyways man uh, the ruler of kandak artifact and that is the crown of kandak and this is definitely one of the best free artifacts to have because the number of damage the amount of damage rather that you're getting from the stacks is going to be incredible even at low level it's going to be incredible because as you can see over here it has a chance to you know recover the power that has been spent as well as increases the damage like even at level 3 it increases the damage by 390 percent which is just gonna be too awesome and definitely this is the best you know artifact to have on most of the damage dealers that do not do a lot of dot with the beta club like they don't get a boost from the beta club so like uh, from a solo raid effectiveness definitely one of the best artifacts to use definitely upgrade it to the max point from a lead rate effectiveness it can be used on batwoman the crown because this is going to give the most benefit for batwoman the crown even in league raids uh, and uh, for the best characters for using you can even use on the loa team you can even use on king of atlantis aquaman for the loa team it benefits more than the dark metal cards artifact so if you have crown of kandak and dark metal cards artifact at the same level definitely go for crown of kandak and do some stuns with heartbreaker harley quinn and you should be able to do more damage with that so let's move on to the final one over here and that is the kingdom of madness solo raid the robin king solo raid which is having the artifact called shop scythe which is again a pretty terrible artifact i would say it on paper it seems pretty good that is special two and three can interrupt the opponent's specials interrupting special deals 100 percent more damage but every successful interrupt is special increases damage by 45 percent stacks up to four once this is increased you have it at a different you know amount of damage that increases as well i think i have one at level two let me check the percentage let me just jump there at a level two one shop site or level three maybe Let's check i think i have it at level three so you can see here 60 percent so 240 percent damage it kind of increases but the amount of time that it takes to get this damage increase is pretty bad i would say it's it's a good artifact on paper but doesn't really work as intended or as powerful as it seems on paper so i would still rate this a better artifact than you know the the spear the kryptonite spear or the chakra but definitely it's not the best artifact out there so for from a solo raid effectiveness standpoint uh, like it's good to have because of the attack but it's not gonna be uh, you know placing itself on the damage dealer from a late raid league raid late reek oh, i don't know what i'm saying guys uh it's been long <laughs> from a league raid effectiveness standpoint i think uh, it's uh it's not great either you're not going to be using it a lot but uh, for a fun bit uh, occasionally it could be used from best characters for using standpoint uh, try it out on characters which have you know high special attack damage only then it would be interesting to see how much damage you're doing like it can be tried on king of atlantis aquaman for fun you can use it on predator batman as well but it's not going to do a ton of damage guys so uh, with that being said this concludes for this video guys i hope you guys got an ultimate information on the free artifacts and uh, the ultimate guide so i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already here's your boy the ouch game of 90 over here signing off you guys take care and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace